Hey everybody! Welcome back to GDPG! We are playing Bastard Saga. Bastard Saga! Which is our name for Banner Saga, except for... We're, we're dicks. We're, we're dicks. We're dicks. Alright. We're dicks. Continuing on our journey so far, we've actually been pretty lucky. Yeah! The reason, though, we've been so lucky with things... Oh, uh, uh, is because we're awesome. Olet marches quietly alongside the caravan, a little distance since leaving the village. When you stop for a rest, Odalif approaches you both. Oh, we also, uh, it's been a week since we recorded. We don't remember how they sound, so we're going to redo the voices. Illet, I have something for you. Ah, Odalif has gathered up the long banner from the caravan and smiles warmly as she passes it to Illet. What is this about? Oh, sh No, no, it's fine. That's fine. I'll be Illet. Yeah. Yes. I was hoping you'd sum up the banner with everything that has happened since we left Skogger. Come That's find me good. another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Ooh. Before you can comment, she departs. That's because she didn't want to hear you say no. D Dad, are you the chief? Don't know. I, I guess this uh, is technically you. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, I guess I'll have to find out later. I. I. I guess I'll have to find out later. God, you're going back to that. I place. am. We have word. to keep it. It's, it's so it's, not it's, bastardy. It's, it's I terrible. Know, I know. Oh, that, that means you're both quiet for a moment while Let unfurls the banner. Only if I've been teaching me how to sue. <laughs> she speaks pretty highly of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can we read the part about mom? Oh, there's a no option. You nod. On the banner has been sewn the story of the families who have lived in the Skogor, who have lived in Skogor throughout the years, just as is done on every banner in every town. I hate that I gave you that. I love Alette as a character. Yeah, oh, man, Alette's but, great. Uh, I wish she were here, but I'm kind of glad she isn't. The section of the banner about your family is short, but Let has been sewing in colorful des designs. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all of this. Dredge, leaving home, and dot dot dot. Why didn't you stop those men from killing each other in the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. It's not okay. It's not okay. Uh, what, what's the best one? It wasn't... I didn't want blood on my hands. That kind of sounds like you're like, just be like, fuck that. I, I don't want none of that shit. All right, sure. Deciding what happens to other people. I am glad I'm not you. I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Damn straight. That's not exactly my calling either. Yeah, I know. Dad, I think you're good job. She hugs you. Spend the rest of your time together sewing new verses into the banner. For better or worse, the story of Skogor is your burden now. Skogger. Skogger. Oh, man. Skoger. Oh, Ooh, with Oda Leaf. Um, watch take Oda Leaf this time. How are you doing, Odd? What a terrible name. I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> Not at first. Sometimes when a loved one dies, people say it doesn't sink in for a while. It sunk in for me right away. People tell me I'm a strong woman. It's funny, my father named me this weird name before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Oh, it's a boy's name. Strong woman. What does that even mean? Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I feel nothing about my husband dying, people think I'm strong. If I cry because my insides feel like they're on fire, I'm weak. Both. Why does this feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. You're not sure what to say. In many The many years you've known the Chieftain's wife, this is probably the most you've ever talked. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, I doubt that. I think that Rook's been a single man for a while. Oh, yeah. And the Chieftain was old. That's all I'm saying. Hopping on the bone train. You asked me to come find you. Yeah. It's about this banner. I, I thought about it a long time. He asked me to give it to you, you know? If, like, something happened. Uh, huh. <laughs> 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 Should be fine. I could carry it, but I thought, why he named you? I get it. They wouldn't follow a woman. Families would leave. Our banner would be divided. Oh, no. <laughs> this is oh, be great. No. Um. Oh. You're probably right. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know I'm right on this one. <laughs> it's not just about our small town. What happens? 
the first time we need something from another clan, what would we? Where would we go? And the and first like, time uh, someone it. thinks like a buzz. Of it, was. think that this would happen. Yeah, this happened. Uh oh. Oh. It's like you're keeping it contained. Oh. Oh. Have you always been this talkative? <laughs> no, I know she's being sarcastic, but I, I imagine yeah, right. that she's like, she's like really dense. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know I drag this out. The truth is my husband and I can never have a child. And I don't want our banner to end here. It'll be safe if, with you and Alette. I know you're going to take care of her. She puts her hand back on her shoulder as she heads back to the camp. Bone train. Plus five to now. Hashtag bone train. Chris just put it right there. All right. It's back. <laughs> it's back. Leave. Leave. Lots leaving. Dude, we have so little food and it's great. Fuck food. Well, I mean. Oh. At a small split in the trail, a few fighters stop to speak with you, each carrying a single pack. We recognize this place, one man says. Spent several years here with some kin. If they're still around, we would have to warn them of what's coming. With luck, we'll find you again in less than a week. Um, you'll think you'll survive out there on your own? Uh, well, okay, if that's I, what, I don't really, I mean, like, the biggest asshole one, which the fighters well would be like, yeah, whatever, see ya. Yeah. Uh, but the other one is like, yeah, don't let them leave. Tell them they're needed. Or remind everyone they're free to do as they please. Like, that actually might be the number three. No, that's might be pretty the nice. No, it's like, yeah, okay, if you want to go, I understand. Yeah, I th- I, you know, I think, I think we're controlling. Yeah. I think we got to be controlling. Yeah. This. So tell, which one? Tell them we need it here, then. All right. Yeah, we need force them to stay. These people you say gesturing around you are family, too. We all depend on each other. Right now, your axes can be the difference in our survival. The men look slightly ashamed as they slip off their packs, while a few of the caravan give them encouraging words. Their faces reflect the damper, dampened mood. <laughs> no renown lost? Not yet. Okay. Not is yet. In four days. Complaints of excessive drinking have resurfaced. This time the man stumbled over some tent ropes, pulled the snagged canvas through a campfire, nearly setting a supply wagon aflame. Glad to put out the fire on both the wagon and Razvar's leg before leading him to you. Punish him physically. No other option. You consider your options when Odalif appears out of nowhere and doubles him over with a gun gut shot. Endanger everyone again and you'll get more than a cracked rib. She shouts, leaving in a huff. The others go back to their business, satisfied with the outcome. Seriously. But but we wanted to do I know, that. we wanted to hurt people. Let's get her. Let's hashtag we'll for you next. Get Odalif, Odalif down. Him. Get Odalif, yeah. Get odd. Get odd. <laughs> get, get odd. Get on. Stop, Chris. Doesn't mean what you think it means. Oh, she's dread shouts the man from the back of the caravan as Rastavar, the unbashed drunk, staggering towards you, looking not entirely sober. He screams again, pointing to trees in the distance. Fear races through the caravan as fighters pull their weapons. Scouts return with no sightings, and furious men surround Rastavar. Uh, well, we've got to be ignorant on this one. Yep. So, banish your drunk from your caravan, or let your clansmen deliver justice. Ooh. Ooh. Done. Yep. There you deal with him. A swift and brutal... Beating falls rest of our one of the one leaves him begging for mercy. The next time he is offered mead, the man shies away in fear. As for the rest of the caravan, everyone seems pretty satisfied. They're a violent bunch. Yeah, well, you know. Whatever. Frost of a Yuler. They're uh they're gonna be our dredge killers eventually. They've gotta be a mean bunch. The walls of Frostvetler now just I like to start my speeches with a big pause. With luck, they'll hold out the dredge as well. <laughs> I think the music's playing out of the... Yeah, it's doing the thing again. <sighs> Every time. Yeah, next Let's episode. Pause. Next episode. Oh, fine. At this point, we're too far. But, we're too far now. Uh, Get uh, in the chopper. You jostle through through follow crowds to sunken faces who appear as though they've been freezing in front of Foster Vara for days. The gates are closed. You come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. Oh, this is going to be Loading. a fun one. This is not looking good. Why are there so many people in the fields? I don't remember who I'm being anymore. I yeah, so whatever. Just, odds sound the same. Just, I, just, I, just keep going. Why are there so many people in the fields? We can't stay outside in the open like this. I like that, yeah. He's Odalif finds young. you amongst the many refugees. Look, I just talked to some of the women here. Nobody is, is being let into the city. Why? There's over one with Varro from Blotsboro, great horn people from Bitra and all the nearby villages. The dredge are everywhere. The dredge are coming. The dredge That's are coming. Interesting. Lots to bulker. We could actually pay attention to those locations on the map. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to, but yeah. we could. Hey. Right. 
And the chieftain of Frostvillers locked himself inside the great gate. That's when they closed the gates. When the dredge come, the hills will turn red. We have to get in there. Um, we're getting in the walls somehow. We're getting in the walls somehow. I can open, I can get that gate open. Let's see if there's another way before we start breaking down gates. I wasn't going to break in, just push really hard. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> With my arms. <laughs> With my, my big arms. But, sadly, we'll we're not going to break the in the wall until next time. Next time. Um, but, actually, let's do a question of the day, since that's supposed to be a thing. Uh, so, yes. question of the day. Should there be more rude options in this game? I feel like everything, like I feel like they derail you. Did they? We wanted to punish that guy. We wanted to prove what we are, and they took that opportunity from us by having totally punch him. Instead. Yeah. So in serious talk, breaking the asshole. Um, do you think that they should have actually given weight to the options? Some of these options. Yeah. I mean, the game is known for having weight to its options, but we're trying to make it as bad. For us, as possible, and the and game is like holding our hand right now. Yeah, it's holding our hand. I know it's still early, but let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, check out our next video. Uh, we'll be back being bastards. In the bastard saga. Bastard saga. Ugh. Bye, guys. Not bad. All I did was look at you.